Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Monday. We've got 15 matchups on this NBA slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Only six more subs away from 22.9K subs. So go ahead and make that happen today, guys. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. All kinds of boosts and promos to get involved with today. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Monster slate today. Uh, we got 15 matchups. Starting with the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs opening up as a seven point home favorite with the over under at 230 and a half. Bucks coming into this matchup one and five. The Cavs seven and zero. Oh. These teams just played each other. Uh, Donovan Mitchell hitting a game winner 114 to 113. Uh, and this Bucks team just continues to struggle. They're on a five game losing streak. All their losses, aside from that game, have just been. Double digit losses for the Bucks here. Giannis is questionable. Be sure to check his injury status. Uh the Bucks. Two and five against Cleveland. Two and five covering against Cleveland. One and five covering on the road against Cleveland. They're very bad against the Cavs. This Bucks team just doesn't seem right. Give me Cavs minus seven and money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Golden State Warriors versus the Washington Wizards. Warriors opening up as a 10-point road favorite with the over-under at 231.5. Warriors coming into this matchup 5-1. The Wizards 2-3. Warriors on a three-game winning streak coming off a Houston win. Washington, they're coming off a bad Miami loss. Curry's questionable. If Curry plays, he's missed the last few games. Uh, no Kyle Kuzma for Washington. Uh, the Warriors are 5-1 and one against the Wizards. 5-1 and one covering against the Wizards. 11-3 and three on the road against the Wizards. They've been very good against Washington. And this team's playing very good basketball here. Um, you would think without Curry, they wouldn't have played that well. Since Curry's been out, I'm pretty sure they're on like a three-game winning streak. So they're playing very well right now. Um, yeah, we've seen pretty much, aside from the Bull... No, yeah, pretty much every Wizards loss has been double digits here. So... Uh, yeah, I think I gotta take the Warriors minus 10 in the money line on the road today. Next matchup, we've got the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Detroit Pistons. Lakers opening up as a seven point road favorite with the over under at 228. Lakers coming into this matchup four and two. Detroit two and five. Lakers, uh, they're coming off a close Toronto win, 131, 125. Detroit, they're coming off a Brooklyn win, 106 to 92. Uh, Lakers are 7-0 and against Detroit. 4-1 and covering against Detroit. They've been very good against the Pistons here. Um, yeah, I like the Lakers in this matchup. Give me LA minus 7 and money line on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Boston Celtics versus the Atlanta Hawks. Boston opening up as a 10.5 point road favorite with the over-under at 234. Boston coming in this matchup 6-1. and The Hawks 3-4. and Boston on a two-game winning streak, coming off back-to-back -back Charlotte wins. Atlanta coming off a Pelicans win, ending their bad losing streak they were on. Uh, Jalen Brown is out for this matchup uh, with a hip injury for Boston here. Um, Boston 11-2 on the road where they play very well. 11-4 against the Hawks, 10-5 covering against the Hawks. So they've been very good against the Hawks. Um, I'm not too concerned with them having a halo with, you know, no Jalen Brown just because they're so deep. It just means probably bigger games from, um, like Derek White and, uh, Jason Tatum, Drew Holiday. So I'm not, not too concerned about that. If it was like that, if it was any other team, you might be concerned, but Boston, not concerned here. Um, I just like the way they're, I just can't really bet against Boston. I mean, they had the bad Pacers loss, but Pacers play them very well out of probably any team in the league. Uh, Atlanta one and eight covering the spread. Yeah, I just think I just can't bet against Boston. They blow team. They have blowout potential more than any other team in the league. Give me Celtics minus ten and a half and money line on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Brooklyn Nets. Grizzlies opening up as a five and a half point road favorite with the over under at two twenty five and a half. Grizzlies coming into this matchup four and three. The Nets three and four. Uh, Memphis on a two-game winning streak, coming off a Philly win. Um, 
These teams played three games ago. Brooklyn beat them 119 to 106. Uh, Memphis, you know, they're really good against Brooklyn. Despite losing last game, they're 8 and 3 against Brooklyn. 9 and 1 covering on the road against Brooklyn here. Um, Brooklyn look good though uh, in that last head to head matchup. Right now, both teams playing kind of about the same. Nets haven't been horrible. Getting five and a half at home when they pretty much dominated last time. I'll take Nets plus five and a half at home today. Next matchup, we got the Sacramento Kings versus the Miami Heat. Heat opening up as a one point home favorite with the over under at 225. Kings coming into this matchup three and three. The Heat three and two. Sacramento coming off a Toronto loss. Miami, uh, they're coming off a Washington win. Uh, Sacramento, 0-5 on the road against Miami. 1-4 uh, against Miami. 2-4 covering on the road. They have not been good against Miami here for whatever reason. You got Miami. They're playing well these last four games. 3-1 and one in their last four. Yeah, you got a one-point game. So pretty much a pick them. We'll take the team that's just been better head-to-head -head and the team that you know doesn't struggle on the road here. And uh, I'm going to take a shot with Miami at home today. Next matchup, we got the Utah Jazz versus the Chicago Bulls. Chicago opening up as a seven and a half point home favorite with the over under at 228. Jazz coming into this matchup 0 and 6. The Bulls 3 and 3. Uh, Utah winless so far 0 and 6, coming off a bad Denver loss. I mean, they've most of their games, aside from the Memphis game, have they been getting beat by like double digits? It's been pretty bad for Utah. Chicago, they're coming off a Brooklyn loss. Um, yeah, it's just not looking good for Utah here. One and sixteen on the road. One and five against Chicago. Two and five covering against Chicago. I just don't trust this Utah team. Uh, they they look a mess. And uh, I'll take the Bulls minus seven and a half and money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the New York Knicks versus the Houston Rockets. Knicks opening up as a two point road favorite with the over under at two seventeen and a half. Knicks coming into this matchup three and two. Houston three and three. Uh, the Knicks on a two game winning streak coming off a Detroit win. Houston, they're coming off a Golden State loss. Uh, the Knicks eight and one against Houston. Nine and two covering on the road against Houston here. You're only looking at a two point spread. I like the Knicks in this matchup, and I'll take the Knicks minus two and money line on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Charlotte Hornets versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota opening up as a 9.5 point home favorite with the over-under at 226.5. Hornets coming into this matchup 2-4. and four. Minnesota 3-3. Three and three. Charlotte on a two-game losing streak coming off back-to-back -back Boston losses. Minnesota, they're coming off a bad Spurs loss. Uh, Charlotte, they're 7-2 against Minnesota. 7-1-1 one one covering against Minnesota. And 4-0-1 covering on the road against Minnesota. They've been very good against the Timberwolves here. Um, and, you know, Charlotte, unfortunately, you know, they had to play Boston twice in a row. But, you know, had that nice Toronto win. Tough Miami lost. I mean, close Miami lost. Close Atlanta lost. They've had some close losses here aside from their last two. I like the points with Charlotte here. And uh, I'll take Charlotte nine is plus 9.5 on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Orlando Magic versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder opening up as a 12.5 point home favorite with the over-under at 215. Magic coming into this matchup 3-4. The Thunder 6-0. Uh, the Magic on a three-game losing streak coming off a bad Dallas loss last night, 108-85. Then you got the Thunder. I mean, man, they're on a heater. Uh, they're, they're undefeated still 6-0. Coming off a big Clippers win, 105-92. And yeah, this Magic team, they just don't look the same without Paolo Bancaro. Um, and it shows offensively. They've struggled the last, what, two games. Uh, all double-digit losses without them. They got to figure it out here. But up against the Thunder, I just don't see it happening. They're 1-4 against OKC. 2-13 on the road against the Thunder. Yeah, not, Thunder's not the game that they need to figure it out. It'll be tough. But I got to take Thunder minus 12 and a half and money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Portland Trailblazers versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans opening up as a two and a half point home favorite with the over under at 221. 
Portland coming into this matchup two and five. The Pelicans three and four. Portland on a two-game losing streak coming off a Phoenix loss. Pelicans, they're coming off an Atlanta loss. Pelicans just dealing with a lot of injuries. No McCollum, no Murray, Herbert Jones out. So they're missing a lot of guys here. Portland is just one and seven against the Pelicans. One and four covering on the road against the Pelicans here. Cheaper spread. I think it's a big bounce back for the Pelicans at home. Um, it's just been rough for them so far. Give me the Pelicans minus two and a half in money line at home in this one. Next matchup, we've got the Indiana Pacers versus the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas opening up as a four and a half point home favorite with the over under at 237. Pacers coming into this matchup two and four. Dallas four and two. Pacers coming off a Pelicans loss 125 to 118. Dallas, they're coming off a magic, big magic win 108 to 85. Nice bounce back after that bad Houston loss. Um, no Aaron Naismith for the Pacers here. Uh, Pacers five and two against Dallas, five and two covering against Dallas. They've actually been pretty good against Dallas here. Um, but I disregard those numbers because the Pacers at stretch the run right now, one and four in their last five. They have not really, they have not really played well so far. They played good. They look good against Boston, but that's really it. And, um, Mavs at home and Mavs are just playing well, you know. Figuring things out. They're looking pretty good. I got to take the Mavs minus four and a half in money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Raptors versus the Denver Nuggets. Denver opening up as a 10 point home favorite with the over under at 231 and a half. Toronto coming into this matchup two and five. Denver three and three. Uh, Toronto coming off a Sacramento win 131, 128. Ending their bad losing streak they were on. Denver, they're coming off a big Utah win. Um, no Jamal Murray uh, for this matchup today for Denver. Um, Toronto 0-5 on the road, 1-4 against Denver. They haven't been very good. I still like Denver. Even though Jamal Murray, you know, I think they'll be fine. Russell Westbrook will be point guard. They'll be all right. Um, this Toronto team, though, it's been pretty bad. I mean, they're had some tough losses. They've had some close games here. Um... Yeah, Denver. Denver's kind of struggled a bit, but picked it up. They're three and one in their last four. You know, they're kind of, you know, getting some wins here. Coming off their best best one of the season, uh, coming off that Utah win. I just gotta trust the Nuggets at home here. Um, playing good this last week. Give me Nuggets minus ten in money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Phoenix Suns. Suns opening up as a seven point home favorite with the over under at two twenty four and a half. Sixers coming into this matchup one and four. The Suns five and one. Uh, Philly on a two game losing streak coming off a Memphis loss. Phoenix, uh, they're on a four game winning streak right now. They're playing very well coming off a Portland win. I'm seeing that Paul George is looking like he could be playing today. We'll see how true that is. I mean, they need him because this Philly team stinks right now without Embiid, without Paul George. It's just been rough. They do not look very good. They're 2-8 and eight against Phoenix, 0-5 oh covering on the road against Phoenix. Even if Paul George returns, Suns are playing good basketball here. Uh, Sixers aren't. I mean, they just don't look good without their stars. So uh, I got to take the Suns minus 7 in money line at home today. In the last matchup, we got the San Antonio Spurs versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers opening up as a 4-point home favorite with the over-under at 215. Spurs coming into this matchup 3-3. Three the Clippers two and four. Spurs uh, on a two-game winning streak, coming off a Minnesota win. Clippers on a three-game losing streak, coming off an OK an OKC loss. Uh, the Spurs eight and two covering on the road. Haven't been the best against the Clippers. They're zero and seven against the Clippers. I'll tell you what, the Clippers are very beatable right now. They don't look that good. Uh, Clippers zero and six at home. They really struggled at home here. Um, I'm liking the Spurs. Plus money today, plus the points. Clippers are struggling. Give me Spurs plus four on the road today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Monday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Tuesday. Have a good one.